What's going on, guys? We are here at the Radio Waves booth at Dayton Hamvention 2023. I'm here with Emmett, and they have a brand new, this is a vertical off-center off fed, fed antenna system. Antenna right. system for portable. It can be portable, permanent. If you have like an HOA and you want to hide it in the fiberglass maps or a, a fiberglass uh, flagpole, it'll work okay. as well. Okay, okay. So it's, that's, it does that's a lot. That's a good selling point. Or you, so, need, or, or you need to go ahead and activate like a uh, Parks on the Air or mm -hmm. Yoda, you know, uh, whatever. It's an excellent, lightweight, uh, quick to install, quick to work mm -hmm. type. Okay. So here's the antenna. We've got basically a mast, some kind of yeah. This is the tuning I, this unit. This is the ICOM 90, uh, 1910 33 foot fiberglass pole. Okay. And what we're doing is we connect to a, a remote auto coupler, or uh -huh. if you have a little, because we're doing portable operations, you can have your little QRP tuner, or okay. the other. Uh, it was originally designed to work with the ICOM 705 AH 705. Auto cup. Okay, so is this just a QRP antenna? Or it can be. That's just it. We That's can put power through it, though. Can, oh yeah. Okay. It's whatever you're limited to as far as your, your your tuner is concerned. Okay. Okay. And so basically, because it's an off-center fed antenna, uh -huh. what we're doing is we're basically feeding it with twin lead. Okay. We're not doing it. We're doing the classic twin lead. It goes all the way up to the feed point, which is that diamond there. Okay. okay? So then that's the, the feed point right, right there. That little black thing with the yep. two yellows. And then the short wire comes down here. The middle wire there we're right. looking at, yep. Okay, and that's the that's the short wire on the off center fed. And I then see. the long wire, we've got it spiraled up on this this flagpole because it's a 33 foot pole and uh -huh. we're in a 24 foot building. So we had yeah. to, you know, so but the but the neat thing about it is you could still put the 33 foot uh, antenna on your 24 foot you know fiberglass yeah. pole or whatever. Now so I have a 43 foot mast, I could still we use that. We have another or? one. The, 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 we, we're calling it the Voyager series, uh -huh. okay? And Voyager 1 is for the 24-foot poles. Mm -hmm. Voyager 2 is for the 33-foot poles. And Voyager 3 is for the 46-foot poles. OK. So um, what's really nice, though, is we also have these little rubber band type little bongo tie yeah, type yeah, yeah. things. And the, the nice thing about this is, is instead of using uh, painter's tape you know, yeah. to, to bring the joints together, you yeah. use these. And they work great for keeping the the antenna from slipping down if it gets you know if it gets twisted yeah. or whatever. Okay. Um, but uh, a little anecdotal story. Um, back last fall, we had to do a an emergency communications exercise, mm -hmm. and we had to start in Missouri, and we ended up in in uh, Iowa, and we had to work we had to work from 18 different counties. In other words, mm -hmm. we had to go to 18 different counties in 24 hours, make contact with just one, not just, when I say one, meaning a specific radio station in yeah. Italy in 24 hours, <laughs> okay? So That's we, a big ask. Yeah, yeah, but we did it. <laughs> and it was this antenna that did it. Wow. And it wasn't just operating out of the vehicle. We had to set up a table with the radio and everything. Uh -huh. and then once we were done with the setup, we tore it all down and went to the next county, set up again, and uh -huh. did the contact. Yeah. But what happened was, because the angle of radiation is so low on a vertical antenna like this, yeah. it, we were able to do 40 meters and just and, and hit the guy every time. Wow. That's crazy. So now when... So so how is this sold? What does this come with? What's the price? What do we Okay. What do you got? I'm not sure what the pricing is. Jillian and HJ are the ones that handle that. But, okay. Um, basically the antenna is sold with a nice antenna wire winder. Okay. Okay. We give you a uh, a figure eight as well. So you can put that on your like your pole if you wanted to, hang it from a tree. Or you okay. don't even have to use a pole. See this? So this is what attaches to the top of your mast? It can, or whatever you want to put it. Okay. I mean, it's just something there to make it work. So you don't necessarily need a mast. You could, if you, yeah, if you, you can, can throw it, this up in a tree high enough. Exactly. Okay. okay. That's what makes it so cool. So we're, we're paying for the, for the wire system. Yep. And there you go. Okay. And what this is, is this is more like a twin lead. Yep. That, you know, uh, how do I say it? I like it this way a lot better because it's open wire and it's a lot more effective. And mm. plus it comes on a nice winder. Yeah. And it doesn't take that much time to bring things together. I don't okay. have that, the, uh, I have, it also comes with a common mode choke. Okay. Okay. And uh, that can be either attached prior to the, the coupler or after the coupler. Okay. So now what, so we can, so like I have an MFJ 939 auto tuner. Right. Could I hook that up to Yeah, this? right to there. 
Okay. So now how do we hook this up? We've got, I see, this is our... The center, po the center uh, wire. This is our center wire here. Right. And then, and then this is the ground. This is the ground wire. Okay. Or in the case of like the... So we would basically take, so like on my tuner, I would put maybe a uh, banana plug and stick it in the center of the, P of the yes. SO239. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then connect this guy down to the ground of the antenna tuner. Correct, yes. Okay. Or... So pretty much any... Any or tuner, this should work. One with, of these. Right? Yep. Okay. And look how. Now, look are it. we going to use the balanced feed line? You can with this? if you wanted to. Yes. Ah. And, and what okay. that does is it uh, it basically brings it all in for you. So there we go. Okay. And this is the balance that comes yep. with it. Check out this balance. Okay, this is a common mode choke, but what's really nice is check out the, the hardware, the way that is. We got these little nice little knobs, so oh, you're not yeah, having yeah, to use yeah, wrenches, yeah. no tools. Okay. Okay. And there it is, and this will get attached. What we do is I make a little wire that goes from here to an SO239, and then I connect this, and then we connect this to the antenna itself. Okay. But I really like this design just because of the, you know, yeah, that way we're not having to and stuff. mess yeah. around with the tools. It's just, you get it down just to where the, the little uh, split washer is compressed and you're done. Yeah. And if you look really close, you'll see that the nut is, one nut is red and one is black, indicating center and ground. I'm nuts. Oh, I see the nut itself there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. And you can just hit that with a Sharpie too if you need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So how long how long did it take you guys to set this up? What, the, this? Yeah. When you're doing that 18... Less, uh, less than 10 minutes. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. And, that, and then that's, we'll tune it'll what do bands? 80 meters to 10 meters. Oh, or wow. It's basically the only restriction is your autocoupler. Okay. Uh, now, on the, for instance, on the 46, you can get 160. We've done it. Uh -huh. um, now, is that yeah. different lengths of wire? Oh, yeah. The 46 okay. is, is a lot longer. Now, you have to understand, too, because it's a vertical 160, uh -huh. what happens with, the, with a vertical antenna? The takeoff angle goes the down. The takeoff angle is at a lower angle of radiation, and yeah. most people that you're going to want to talk to is within your state. Okay. Huh. So, so, in other words, DX160. <laughs> I've been on a 160 like twice, so yeah, that is cool. That is very cool. Sweet. Well, anything else we need to know about this? When nope. it? So this is a prototype, it's, or no? What's... No, it's available now. Okay. Um, we'll, uh, it'll be going on the website this week. Okay. Um, we just wanted to show it off, get questions, and and uh, show people the product, and then go from there. Okay. Awesome. Well, hey, Emmett, thanks so much Thank for your you. time. Have a great. There you go. Radio waves. Cool new vertical antenna. Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate Thank it. You. you bet.